Robbie, where are we at today, buddy? Salem Hills, Utah, home of, <laughs> home of Brad Grover, Brad's Barbershop. Yeah? Your mustache is falling. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to be, a, I want to look a little rugged like our guest today. Guest? When I think of the Nielsen, do you know what I think of? One word. Big chainsaws. No. <laughs> I think of scrappy. Big power <laughs> units. I think of scrappy. Big power units. They don't take no crap from anything or anyone. That's, That's a heck of an we intro. Love, we love to be here in Salem, especially with Goose and company, and we're excited as heck to show you today company. what we're all about. And uh, what we do is a hobby and somewhat of as a profession. So let's introduce our guests. The Pre guests are from Wildwood Limited. We have Royce Nielsen, Logan Nielsen, and myself, Preston. Nielsen. Hey. Nielsen. <laughs> and? With Goose in the Wild and company. That's right. And our topic is what? Cutting wildwood slabs and wildwood art. So Goose and I are going to drop a walnut tree, kind of give you an idea of what we do with the wood. I have two sons over here that uh, are working with me. And what we've done is we've hooked a cable up into the tree. We top most of it out. And here in a minute, we'll go ahead and cut a smile into the base and then drop the tree. And then after that, we'll show you our big saws and what we do with the wood. Okay. So you were telling me a minute ago that this is going to be a piece of cake tree. Yeah, this is pretty easy, pretty easy tree because it's got quite a steep lean, probably a 50 to 15 degree lean. Lean. If it was straight up, then we'd need to worry about the tree going the wrong way and hitting these power lines. But where it's got such a lean, plus we're hooking the cable into it, so we'll be able to pull it the direction we want. Power line, chainsaws, gonna be dizzy. No, no, don't want that. I cut a tree in Logan, and he was way up in the tree and when we cut the limb a limb out of it and that tree limb broke it rocked that tree back and forth with him in it probably five or six feet back and forth oh it's wow it was scary goose and i climbed the ladder on the fire truck wow royce how important is it getting the angle on this first cut oh it's vital vital yeah. Would you say that's one of the most crucial parts? That is, absolutely. All right. You make a wrong cut and the, t the tree could wedge, get wedged in there, could wedge your saw in, in there, but the weight of the tree pinches the saw. All right. Um, yeah, and what this, is this first cut called? A crucial cut. Crucial it's cut. Crucial, it's crucial cut. cut. I like that. What's Preston telling him now? Telling him that he's doing it wrong. Wrong. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm teasing you. That sawdust getting in your eyes from here, clear from here. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's fine. He's doing it just right. All right. Get a good smile in there, about halfway through the tree. And then come in, come in from up high. If you come in even, the tree can go backwards. Good job. There you go. Oh, it's going to go over that old cruddy fan. Yep. Wow. Good own. job, let's go. Welcome back, guys. Was that not exciting? Was that not epic? Wow. It, it was something yeah. we didn't take a camper out. You missed the house, though. <laughs> that was a good thing. Yeah, 
and you miss the fence. Absolutely, oh, we put it right where we want. Head. Oh, you hit that one old dilapidated fence. Oh. Had a little uh, power stroke control, out. so. So now we're back in Salem. We are. And we've got some wood. And we've got a seven foot bar on an 090 steel chainsaw, which runs 13 horsepower. Ooh which is the most powerful ever made. Is this show not fun? And what does a typical saw run? Probably about three or four. Three or four horse. On a good one. And this has 13 horsepower? This has 13. And they quit making them because of emissions. Go green, I guess. But we, we love, the, love the old saw. This saw's about 25 years old. We happen to own three of them. Put together by wire. And... Uh, <laughs> Now, do you have to be strong to handle You have this? to be strong. This bar weighs about 35 pounds, but it's the leverage. Um, you've, you're holding it here, and it's clear out here. I'll demonstrate a little bit right here. So you want to set it down, but imagine the pivot that you must have. You've got to use a lot of leg and a lot of back to keep it guided. And as you can see, if you put it on its side, it's like a barbell. Oh. The chain would fly off it if you was to use it that way. So. Wow. Anyway, we're going to saw through this log here. How old's the wood? We've got this walnut tree here. Looks like well, two different woods. Uh, the old guy got it from, his name is Jerry. He was two blocks down the road. He cut down a walnut tree, he said, 18 years ago. That's great. How'd it feel? My hands are still vibrating. <laughs> So we take it from this, and generally, if a tree's not dead, we have to wait a year or so before we mess with it much oh. to let it dry. Because a lot of times, you know, it takes a wood a long time to to cure to where it doesn't. You get a lot of warp and whatnot. And so from this point, this is bone dry. We can go ahead and start sanding this down, and then and, uh, like that one, and we'll show you the, we'll show you the, the next, next phase. <laughs> So now we're in one of the sheds, Royce, and is this called a blank? Yeah, this is this is a, a slab that we cut. Uh, this particular one's walnut. We use four or five different braids of tree to cut our blanks with, our slabs with. This one happens to be walnut. Walnut. Um, Boy, that's... Yeah, it's sanded, and the reason we use Boy, walnut, that... turn yep. it up. This way? Yeah. Okay. One of the reasons we like walnut is because it's got a natural border, which acts as a frame. Oh. Uh, okay. And the dark wood highlights the artwork. Whatever color goes on there, it's really accentuated by the dark background. So, okay. it looks a little blank, but when you finish it with the lacquer or whatnot, you shouldn't usually do this, but we're going to do it we're anyway. Gonna, we're going to do this. Now, now get a load of some beautiful wood. Yep, that's how it will finish. Okay. That dark, deep, oh. rich, little dusty, but that's, a dusty that's show. the color that we end up with. From there, where do we go? So he takes it from there, and from this point, he'll, as an artist, decide what he wants to put on it. 
what what comes to his imagination? What does he see in that piece of wood that might he might be able to transpire and put? And so from there he'll he'll draw on say a pheasant or an elk or a deer. How about a goose? Oh, uh, many goose geese. Uh, oh, we he loves yeah. Geese. I do a lot of honkers. We love yeah. We love honkers. the honkers. Yeah. And so. And from there, he'll he'll sketch out what he wants to put on that piece of artwork, and then he takes what we have right here, a router, and he'll use this router and come in here and 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 car, carve it out, carve out some of the foreground, some of the background, to uh, give it more of a 3D look look to it. Yeah. And so, and from there, he'll uh, he'll take an oil and finish it uh, or lacquer it, and then he can begin to look at this stack right here begin to pull out one of these fancy deals and, and start painting it yeah see i was uh, in a hunting accident and my spinal cord bullet hit my spinal cord so they told me i'd never walk again so the first couple of years all i could do is sit so a neighbor brought a piece of wood over that he cut off from a an elm tree and i'd painted art since i was a little guy seven eight years old I started painting and neighbor brought over a piece of uh, wood and I painted some ducks on it. And I was going to dental technology school doing crown and bridge work with a dentistry mandrel. So when I, the gunshot left me to where I couldn't continue with my schooling. That's so my you chose to be better, not bitter. Right. Right. And you, there's no right. moping in the Nielsen's. We don't mope. No, Mike, if you know my kids, you, the goose you play ball with, yeah. them, you, know, you know that they've got attitude. So They're it's winners. It's called grit. That's right. Mental toughness. Right. Logan, but, Preston, and Scott are great, how old great are men. You now? How old, how old you am now? I? Uh, I'm 68. 68. That's yeah. what I am, a 68. Yeah, Goose and I are just wow. a couple months apart. Huh? Yeah. Wow. 49. 48 for me. Well, so if you're sitting around your house moping because some tough things have come to you, right here. Come see him. Right yeah. here. He'll give you a piece. You don't have to look any further. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's, let's go, go let's to go the see next what step. I do. Yep. Hey, we're back, guys. Hey, this is a great show so far, isn't it? It's been fun. Yes, it is. Wow. It's been awesome. Royce, we're to where now? We're to where I'm going to show you some of my finished pieces. Oh. If you were to be able to feel, the trees are all three-dimensional. They're carved and released into the, into the wood. The foreground on the animals is all carved out. After I carve, carve into the wood, then I oil the piece, and then I start painting with acrylic paint. After it's painted, then I lacquer it several times. So you can see from a stump or a tree that we showed you earlier yep. on, yep. and you can look at this as a finished grade of something that he has imagined in his mind and, and put on this is his canvas, if you will. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice to be in your man cave right now, guys? Or Something like nice this. And, uh, you know what I like, Prest? How he shows the feathers on the beak, the, the detail. And the detail in the, yeah. in the claws. And the, the little eaglet. The little you eaglet. See the egg that start, started, started to crack? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the detail is uh, incredible. Now that on the end, that's a piece of walnut on the end. This is Siberian elm. The end piece is a piece of black walnut. You can see how rich and gorgeous the, uh, the wood is. Um, this is a piece of Lombardi, Lombardi burl, but uh, completely different look on yeah. the different, different woods. What's burl? This is Uncle Milty Burl, Milton Burl. Is that what we call a knot? Well, a knot, yeah. Knots, 
knots are generally it grows, but it almost looks but, like a wart growing on a tree. If oh. you've ever seen a tree and it's got a big old cluster big growing old on the side like of it, bubble like a cauliflower. That's, oh. That's, that ends up being a burl. And and this is what comes out of a burl is you get these magnificent colors and oh. colorations. A oh. lot of times it can be a uh, not a bacteria, but a a fungus. Yep, yeah, a type. A sickness maybe that the trees develop. Some type Sometimes of power lines will grow through trees and cause them to grow sporadic and like like a cancer. And uh, but that piece there is beautiful. It's and it's got so much color and beauty to it that no matter what you do with it, it's already uh, a magnificent piece of art. So all I do is try to put something on there that adds a little bit of color and you know but most of this wood is an art in itself so. well you told me earlier that you're the only one that does this kind well oh. i'm the as far as i know uh other people may paint on a blank of wood but carving it out where it's three-dimensional and where i cut all my own wood i i don't know anybody else that that does what exactly what I do. So that separates I've, you, the carving? Yeah, yeah, I've been doing this for 40 years and um, I've done shows all over, pretty much all over the western part of the country. I do a lot of sports shows and the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation show and those sorts of things. And I've never had to compete with anybody. You know, I've been able to do something that's been my own particular style of art and it's been very gratifying because I've made so many friends and association with my art over all these years and it becomes more than just a profession. It becomes something where I build a relationship with individuals and we become friends and, and I've met so many people that it's been a wonderful career for year me. Year after year they come in and say, man, I, we just, our family just loves Every time we go up to our cabin or any time we have people over, nonstop compliments about what you've done. What you, it's so beautiful. We love it so much. It's, when we go to shows, I've been able to sit in and, and listen to people um, express their gratitude for a piece of art and something that he's been able to bring to them, which has, has been really cool. You see a piece that's 30 years old that I did, that I did um, 25, 30 years ago. And I am sometimes overwhelmed, you know? I see pieces that I did all those years ago and it hasn't changed a whole lot. The, the style and the, the art hasn't changed much. So. And when he gets bored, look at what he does. He takes pieces of wood. You would think this is a normal skull, right? That he put art yeah. on? No. He go, went and cut out a bunch of pieces of walnut Blue in them. the shape of a skull, resin them, and then painted. Wow. So the art never fails with this guy. He's, he's got quite the imagination. You know, I've loved sculpture and art all through, all through high school, and it's been my life. And so to make something that is unique and beautiful from nothing, um, it, it, it excites me to do something that people enjoy. So, well, I know there's at least one viewer out there looking at these beauties and wondering how much they cost. When you say these beauties, I thought you were talking about him. Oh, your kids? Yeah. Heck yeah. You bet. They're priceless. I appreciate the fact that some people want to have my artwork. So a lot depends on who they are and, and I want to help people to have a piece if, if they're interested in a piece of my art. Um, it's not so much making money as it is the enjoyment of doing something that people will enjoy. But most of the things are quite reasonable. I, I start with my smaller pieces at about $100, $100. and they go, they go up from that. Like this piece here would be 300 300 for the so eagles. It just kind of wow. depends on the size of it. But I love it. I, uh, I'll never quit painting because it's <coughs> been my life. We'll take another break, guys and gals, and we'll be back in a moment. Yeah. 
Well, this is about uh, the end of the show. But before we leave you, I have a little something I'd like to give Goose here as a token of my appreciation for coming and putting on a show for you. Um, his nickname is Goose, and I happen to paint some geese. Mm. And uh, when he, at church, when we were talking about doing a show, I thought, hmm, I've got a piece that might be a nice thing to be able to present to him. Wow. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Holy smoke. Wow. That touches the heart. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, that's a gift from me and my boys to, to you, Goose. Boy, Let's know we appreciate you. Outstanding. Wow. Now, a lot of times we're not brought to tears, but this is one time. Wow. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> love you. You bet, Goose. I love you. You're a good man. Love you. Love you, bud. Love you. <laughs> that's a beautiful piece. Wow. It is. Yep. I'll enjoy it. You guys Doesn't can't see on much. camera the carving or whatnot. It's it's amazing. Even as big as it is, it you can lift it with one arm. That'll go in the man cave. We were asking if wow. he does any geese. Wow. Uh, what did he That's something. Okay, guys. And you know how we close our show. Usually Rob's looking for me, but you can't top this. Can't top that. Can't top it. It's so beautiful. He's not looking for me today. And remember, it's a great day out here, Travis. A beauty, isn't it? It's, it's a right. great day, Goose. Wow. We're so excited, and thank you for your time and uh, for what you do for our community and everybody around here. Anytime we can showcase the Nielsen boys, we're all over it. You know the second part of the closing. Definitely. Remember, we, we love you. Yeah. We truly do, and we'll catch you on our next show. Yeah, baby. Love it.